guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. For the entire week this week, we are going to be celebrating Beginner's Makeup Week on my channel where I'm going to be breaking down the entire makeup routine into separate sections and be doing a dedicated video on every step of the makeup routine. So whichever step you are not that confident about or you want to learn to perfect in your makeup routine, you can watch that particular video and learn and perfect your makeup routine because no better time than now we are in quarantine you can perfect your makeup skills while in quarantine so that when you go out there you're very well groomed and your makeup is spot on so for today's video i'm going to teach you how to perfect your foundation base <laughs> how to get that natural yet full coverage foundation face without having the cakey oily mess and how to make the foundation also last longer throughout the day so if you want to watch this and many more tutorials that are going to follow in this week then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and the bell icon right next to it and join this family and show me your support and because that's the only thing that keeps me driving to create good and new content for you guys and then you can continue watching episode 1 of beginners makeup week that is how to perfect your foundation Alright you guys, let's get started. For your perfect base makeup, step number one has to be a good skincare routine. My skincare routine is up on the channel. I'm going to leave the link to that in the description section. But make sure that you are doing your skincare before you apply makeup. It's a step we mostly neglect and I say that because I used to do that too. The main thought that comes to our mind is that why do we need to do skincare when we are going to cover our face with makeup. But if you apply a good skincare, your foundation will wear better, it will stay longer and it will look more flawless throughout the day. And also your skin can breathe through all that makeup because of all the care you have given it before you've piled makeup on your skin. So step number one has to be skincare. I've already cleansed my face so I'm gonna go in with my moisturizer. Today I'm using the Nutriderm Vitamin E Moisturizing Lotion. This has become a current one of my favorites underneath makeup because it's very moisturizing. But at the same time, it doesn't make my skin very oily. And uh, before I get into this video, I want to mention that I am oily skin type. So my foundation is going to be matte. And everything I revolve around is for oily skin. But if you are dry skin, I will give you whatever modifications you need along the way. Alright, so if you're oily skin, you should go in for a lightweight moisturizer. Preferably what is water-based, gel-based. Or you can go in for something like this which is cream based but sinks very fast into your skin. And if you're dry skin, you should go in with an additional step of using a facial oil. So that your foundation will look very dewy and your skin will be very hydrated underneath all of that makeup. So going in with that facial oil is an extra step you need to do if you are dry skin type. So step number two to your perfect base makeup is using a primer. Now primer is very important. It's exactly like how we prime our walls before we apply paint. So you need to prime your face preferably in this area in your T-zone because in this region we have a concentration of pores and all of that oil is secreted throughout the day. So when you apply your foundation without applying primer, you're going to notice that as your day goes by, your foundation will start wearing off from this region. It will rub off, it will not be visible anymore and all that foundation will start to collect in these regions, whatever slips and slides from your nose and your T-zone and your pores will start secreting a lot of oil. So if you're oily skin and you have larger pores, you should go in for a pore minimizing primer, a mattifying primer. And if you're dry skin, you should go in for a dewy primer, a moisturizing primer. So keeping that in mind, because I'm oily skin, I'm using this. This is a Chambord Anti-Shine Primer. This is a very matte primer and it minimizes the appearance of pores immediately. It gives you a very blurred out canvas. And you're going to take very little of any product, any product for that matter, be it your moisturizer, your facial oil, your primer or your foundation. The key to a good base is using less product and trying to work that into your skin really well. So taking this less product, just massage it on your fingers and go in with tap and motion in your T-zone. Fill the pores of your T-zone with this primer. You can go in circular motions or pat it into your skin. So with primer, the area of focus is your T-zone. Whatever little bit is left, you can drag it on the rest of your forehead and your cheeks. 
Oh, uh, like the skin is nice and blurred out. All the pores are minimized, and you can probably tell the difference. It's not looking that oily anymore in my T zone. Oh, like the step number two has been taken care of. So let's dive straight into step number three, which is to apply your foundation. My preferred method to apply foundation is a beauty blender, a sponge. I prefer a sponge because I feel like it's faster. It gives you a more natural finish as compared to a brush. But if you don't have a sponge and you are more comfortable with a brush, you can definitely go in for that. The technique remains the same. Whatever I'm going to mention about the technique. That remains exactly the same with the brush as well. Now, for selecting the perfect foundation for you, I have a video on top five foundations which are available at the drugstore, which are very affordable and are available in India. So, I'm going to leave a link to that video in the description section so you can go and have a look at that video. And I'm going to leave all my shade recommendations in the description section. So, if you're my shade, you can go ahead and pick that foundation out in that particular shade. So, for today, I'm using this. This is the Nykaa Skin Shield Foundation. I really really like this foundation because it's very easy to wear. It wears for a really long time and also gives you a very natural finish. Plus it's so affordable so you can use it on an everyday basis. So I'm going to take a little bit just one squeeze on the back of my hand. Okay. So here I have it, just a little bit of product. The key, like I said, is taking lesser product and working that into your skin. So I'm gonna first dot this all over my face so that I have an even application. I have a much larger forehead, so I need more product there. All right, so after you've done this, just dive into your beauty blender or your sponge. And the key is to dab the foundation into your skin you don't want to be tugging you don't want to be doing this and going all over your face and just like spreading it like paint it's not paint it's foundation you want to press it into your skin so go in with bouncing motions even if you're using a brush you want to be stippling it on your skin exactly the same motion bounce the brush or the sponge on your skin don't try to drag or pull. It's not good for your skin if you're going to do this and pull at your skin every time you apply makeup. And also the second thing is that when you're doing that, you're going to displace the foundation from one area to the other. And then it's just going to not wear throughout the day. So instead of tugging, all you have to do is bounce. Once you get used to it, your hand just simply bounces so quickly and foundation will blend so fast in your skin. Now when you're in your T-zone, you have to be more careful that you're not caking up product. That's why I dotted the foundation on my skin pre-hand because if you tend to apply too much product in this area, it will crease and cake throughout the day. So you should have an even layer of application all over your skin. Alright, so I've applied one layer of even foundation on my skin. Now, I'm a more full coverage person, so most of my foundations are full coverage. If you want to use a more medium or light coverage foundation, that is totally up to you. That's your choice. But if you want to hide your acne scars and you want to hide acne or blemishes, or that's your whole purpose behind using makeup, then you should prefer using a full coverage foundation as opposed to using a medium or light coverage and then trying to cake too much foundation to make sure everything's hidden. If you use a full coverage foundation and one light layer of foundation, you will see that all my acne, blemishes, hyperpigmentation, everything has been taken care of. Now, after applying this one layer, I still feel that there are certain areas in my skin that I have not covered with foundation. I was not able to cover my neck at all. And I want to cover my neck because otherwise my face and neck look very different from each other. Your entire body is not one shade. Your face is mostly lighter, your neck is mostly darker or the vice versa. So if you want your whole skin to match your neck, you should make sure that you're dragging a lot of the foundation down your neck as well. So just for all of that, I'm going to take maybe half a pump of foundation at the back of my hand. I've not taken, I've taken like half the product of what I did before. And I'm going to carefully dot this in the areas that I feel need a little more coverage. Once again with the beauty blender and the same dabbing motion, bouncing motion. Just bounce the product into your skin. Alright, 
guys this completes it the main step to your perfect base routine and that is the application of your foundation you just have to keep three things in mind three key steps number one is to select the right foundation for your skin type and the perfect shade for you second is that you're making sure that you're dabbing your foundation into your skin and you're not pulling or tugging at your skin and the third is to use lesser product the key is to use less product and then if you feel like you need more coverage in certain regions you can go and build up on your foundation so i'm quickly gonna apply my concealer and be right back if you want to apply any cream products this is the time to do it cream blush cream bronzer cream concealer everything goes on your foundation because it's liquid once you've done that and you've blended all of that in then you have to go in with powder so i just apply liquid concealer apart from that everything i use is powder and so i'm gonna apply my liquid concealer and be right back all right i'm back i've applied my concealer the conceal and bronze and contour and all of that is going to be in the next video so stay tuned for that so now that i've applied my cream products i want to be able to apply powder so that i can set this face in place and there is no creasing happening and the foundation and concealer are not sinking into my fine lines so i prefer a loose powder as opposed to a compact powder you can use a compact powder there is no harm in that i find a compact powder more drying that's why i prefer a loose powder so i'm using the mini so mini pony loose powder this is in the shade 03 warm nude all right so for powder you can use a brush once again or you can use your damp beauty sponge i don't think i mentioned while applying foundation that if you are using a beauty sponge you're supposed to dampen it you're supposed to dampen it squeeze out all the excess water and then use the beauty sponge please don't use a dry beauty sponge it makes the hell of a difference to your blending blending is much easier so even for powder i like to use my beauty sponge itself so i just dunk in the damp beauty sponge into the powder and then going in the region that i've applied my concealer so i just like to place it underneath my eyes on the bridge of my nose on my forehead in this area of the nose because mostly this is where the caking of the foundation happens and then in this area once again where the foundation tends to slip and slide during the day a little bit on my cheeks and that's about it so this is what i powder on my face you can go in with a brush and just powder your whole face there is really no need to go in specific areas i preferably just go in these areas because i like my cheeks to look a little shiny and glowy and have a little bit of life in them and not perfectly matte powdered and i like these areas nice and powdered because these are the areas from where my oils see power throughout the day and then my foundation looks very messy throughout the day once i've done that with the sponge and the powder i like to go in with a loose powder brush this is the elf powder brush and just go over my entire face and make sure every excess powder is dusted off my face and the rest of my face also sets in this process make sure you're going over your neck as well because you did apply foundation there so for the last step i would like to set this makeup in place mostly i like to do this after i've applied my bronzer blush highlight and all of that but you can do it during any part of the process so i will like to set my face in place for that i'm going to use a setting spray i'm using the makeup revolution pro fix illuminating setting spray now this step is again for increasing the longevity of your makeup if you apply setting spray you will make sure that everything is nicely fixed into your face and wears longer throughout the day So just spritzing a little bit of setting spray you need to make sure that you're drying your face and after it's a little dry take the beauty sponge and the part of it that has no product on just dab it on your skin and pick up any excess product going on on your face this is a very very crucial step and usually i like to do this at the end of my makeup once my entire makeup is done so any excess highlighter any excess bronzer or blush or powder for that matter that you've applied with this step it will all come onto the sponge and then your face will not look cakey it will look very natural and polished 
All right, so this completes it. This is the last step for the beginner makeup series for a perfect base. In the next episode, I will teach you how to conceal, how to bronze, blush, and highlight, and add a dimension to your face. But for today's video, this was it. All right, you guys. I hope you liked this video and took a lot of tips and tricks on how to perfect your base makeup. Don't forget to hit the like button if you did actually like this video. Comment below and let me know which other videos you want me to include in this particular beginners makeup week. So I will do that for you guys. If you are new to my channel, then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and join this family and the bell icon right next to it. If you are not already following me on Instagram, then my handle is right here. You can go ahead and do that. And I will see you tomorrow for the next episode of Beginners Makeup Week. Until then, stay home, stay safe, stay positive, and I love you guys so much. Mwah.